Hey, what's up YouTube? Luke the Window Cleaner. Uh, today we're going to go over what I think are the three most important tools you could have for construction cleanup window cleaning. So, let's do this. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So I don't know if this really counts as a tool, but ladders. Doesn't really matter what type of ladder you have, but you're going to need ladders for construction cleanup. I don't recommend trying to do construction cleanup necessarily with the water fed pole. You could if it's like really light construction cleanup. Um, and I don't recommend doing it with an extension pole. Now sometimes there are situations where we still use uh, extension poles, say if I can't get a ladder there. Um, but I really say, sorry it's hot, I really suggest using uh, ladders for it just because um, you really need to be close to the glass and make sure you're removing everything and removing everything uh, in such a manner that you're not scratching the glass. Um, so yeah, if you don't have a ladder, get a ladder and be careful. So two of the most common things you're gonna find on the window as far as it comes to debris is going to be um, paint and silicone at especially new construction cleanup um, jobs. So the first item, or the second item, I guess, is the uh, six inch scraper. Uh, we use this to really remove all of the paint overspray, and then I'll get into how I remove the silicone in just a second. So when you're using your scraper, and this is an Unger uh, Ergotech Ninja six inch scraper, and these are stainless steel blades. Whenever we come to a construction cleanup, or any job that we feel we're going to use a razor quite a bit, we always put in a fresh blade, just so we have a nice sharp blade to kind of speed up the process. So the first thing you want to do is wet down your window. Nice, even strokes, making sure the blades, the blade is flat on the glass. I usually work one side of the glass and working my way up then over, and then down. Then I will get the center. Make sure to always blade wet glass and single strokes. So that means I don't ever wanna go back and forth on the window. This is how you can scratch the window. Now that that's done, um, I will use quad zero steel wool or bronze wool will work for this and then I buff out the window. This is removing anything that I missed with the razor. The razor sometimes can kind of line, uh, leave lines on the window of paint that it went over or missed. And he's kind of silicone on here. Go back. Nice and easy. Detail it up. And we're good. Again here. So again, wetting down the glass first. Take my razor, removing paint over spray or any anything else that might be clinging to the glass with my razor. Single passes, not back and forth. And you see when I'm razoring, I keep my mop in this in my left hand just to keep wetting it down. And then the same process. Wet it back down. You'll see I'm always making sure I get all of the sides with the steel wool, and then I kind of work the center. Really the same thing I'm doing with the razor. It's kind of hot, so I'm gonna wet it down one more time here. Squeegee it off. Excellent. Now this construction cleanup, uh, or I guess this builder, doesn't. We don't include uh, bidding out the tracks and sills here, so it's not something we're really concerned about. I'll wipe up like my spilled water, but other than that, I'm not gonna clean it all up. Right, got some larger picture windows here, some paint. <clears throat> Another thing with construction cleanup, I think you'll see that usually kind of once you get into the job, 
or if you've coded the job correctly, you'll start noticing what you'll need on the windows. Um, and what I mean by that is you'll kind of start seeing that I've always found that the windows are kind of consistent in what's on it. Um, so if there's a lot of paint over spray, say on these windows, most likely there's gonna be paint over spray on all of the glass, if that makes sense. If you've got concrete on a lot of windows that's by a sidewalk, most likely all of them are gonna have it. So just use kind of common sense. If you see it, start checking the other windows for it as well. We get a lot of questions about how to remove these stickers. We just use a, a razor. It's very easy to remove those. This is tempered glass. This glass is very prone to being scratched. So make sure that you're getting a scratch waiver signed or when you're kind of gambling with scratching someone's windows. Good way to prevent from scratching them. A lot of guys will use oil flow removing the debris. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if you just need some more Luke in your life, check out his channel at Luke the Window Cleaner on YouTube.